So Lee, one of the things that has been really active on the site recently, and people are commenting and asking questions about, is the non-toxic cookware world. Because those of us who are tuned into these issues and know that Teflon and, and, and even Teflon-free um, are probably not the best things to be cooking with every day and not the best things to be touching our food, there's still a tremendous amount of confusion about which brands are truly quote unquote non-toxic, which brands are using natural materials. Um, and so I think it is worth just asking you to, to give a rundown of where things stand with PFAS free, PFOA free, PTFE free, which are the forever chemicals. Mm -hmm. And can we have truly non-toxic, non-stick cookware? That's a pretty big question. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot there to unpack. <laughs> there is. A lot there to unpack. So, yeah. So I guess right off the bat, the what I would say is that there are there are two basic types of nonstick cook, cookware. One is going to be with PTFE, so basically Teflon. Um, whether it's called Teflon or whether it's called one of the other brand names, um, you know, take your pick. The other type of nonstick cookware is a ceramic coated metal uh, pan. And and that's it. If if anybody's trying to sell you something else that that says it's nonstick and it's not one of those two kinds, then they're misinformed or they're misinforming you. Um, you have a lot of other choices for cookware, obviously, but none of them are gonna be really nonstick. Um, you can really well season cast iron, carbon steel, um, that kind of thing, and you can get pretty close to nonstick, but they're not actually nonstick. Okay, um, so let me let me stop you there. So going back and you saying that these brands are going to have PTFE because I've looked at some of some really nice brands, some really nice cookware brands that I think are trying to do right by their customers and are, and are conscientious, but they do have nonstick coatings that have PTFE. Yeah. PTFE for the listener who's kind of just tuning in on this is not the same as PFAS or PFOA. And my understanding is that PTFE is, is relative to PFAS and PFOA benign. Is that, how do it, you? It's benign in a sense. Um, it, it does start to break down after a certain temperature point, which is about 500 degrees. So you're not, you're definitely not gonna wanna stick a non-stick pan that's made with PTFE in, in your oven. Um, and even within a couple of minutes of heating a pan on the stove, um, say to like cook a steak, which obviously as a vegan, I'm not doing, um, but say you were wanting to do that, um, a couple of minutes on, on a burner and you're getting up to that kind of temperature. And that's right. the point at which PTFE starts to degrade and break down and release chemicals into the indoor air, um, it's also just an environmental problem because it is a forever chemical. So it, it sticks around in the environment. It accumulates in aquatic or organisms, in fish, um, in, and then goes all the way up the food chain. So it yeah. might feel benign, but it's, it's not benign. It's, well, yeah. relatively, what I was saying is like relatively benign. And the point that you make is, is, is excellent, which is that, look, these chemicals break down when they're heated and you're cooking on them, yeah. which is heating them. So over a period of time, and we don't know how long, it could be two, three months, you know, if you get it up to a high temperature, like you're cooking a steak or you're cooking something on high heat, which most of us do, you know, regularly, yeah. you're breaking down the chemicals that make the pan nonstick. Yeah. And so that's why for me, I don't cook on anything that has, I mean, obviously no Teflon, obviously no old school Teflon. And that's why I, I personally, and I know you feel the same, won't buy anything that has PTFE. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's kind of stipulated. Um, so, you, so Teflon free is no good. Obviously Teflon is no good. And you need to make sure that your cookware that you're buying, if you want it, if you're concerned about these issues, make sure that your cookware is PTFE free, which is a higher hurdle because a lot of stuff has PTFE in there. That's nonstick. Yeah. Um, so just if I could just jump in too. Sure. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the big issue or the bigger issue with PTFE or with nonstick cookware previously was that it, it all contained PFOA, which is a substance that manufacturers would use 
to um, to get the PTFE to actually adhere to the pan. So what happened there is when you heat those pans, if they had PFOA used as part of the manufacturing process, that is what would off gas. And that was what caused a lot of the um, particularly egregious health issues associated with like Teflon flu, um, that kind of thing. And so now what we have is um, various regulations that help to make sure that cookware that's manufactured in the US doesn't have PFOA in. And so companies have started manufacturing and marketing their pans as PFOA free, which doesn't mean they're PTFE free, but it's it's sort of verging on greenwashing in that uh, in that sense that it implies quite strongly to a consumer that this pan is non-toxic when it's not. It's still got PTFE in. Yeah, if you're if you're cruising through the the aisle looking for cookware and you've got a million things on your mind and you've got a kid in the shopping cart and you're sort of like under the gun and it's on your to do list to grab one of these products and you see PFOA free, a lot of people are just going to bite on that hook line and sinker and just grab that and bring that home. Even Especially though they've slapped a big green leaf on there and uh, said it's eco friendly, which obviously isn't a protected term. Yeah, right. And and think that they're doing a good thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so that that's a good start. But now it gets even murkier because you just wrote on the blog um, a long form article about this, and it prompted this this video interview. Um, there's been some controversy around even nonstick cookware brands that are 100% PTFE and forever chemical free. Yeah. And are using, as you mentioned at the beginning of this conversation, the ceramic nonstick coating. Yeah, but what I've come to learn by reading your writing is that you may be paying a small price for the convenience of any nonstick pan. Yeah, potentially. Um, maybe is the key word. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the way the way that ceramic coated pans are. Um, are typically created is to use um, to use something called the sol gel process. So it's it's kind of taking elements of traditional ceramic and turning them into the solution that can be sprayed onto a metal like aluminium, um, and or, or uh, that the pan can actually be dipped in the solution, and then it hardens. Um, it sort of it starts gelatinizing and and gets gets hard and this process, it can be, um, it can it can use pure elements that are non toxic, but it can also be contaminated with other things. It, or a company could decide to use something like um, like titanium dioxide, for example, um, which isn't it hasn't been proven to be harmful as part of this process. It doesn't necessarily leach out of a ceramic coated pan. We actually have test results that suggest that it doesn't, um, but it's a yeah. fairly new process uh, when it comes to ceramic coating and the jury's still out on it a little bit. Yeah, so I mean, I, just, just as anecdotally, for me personally, the way I come down on this is that I know, so I, I, will, I do use at home ceramic coated nonstick pans and nonstick cookware sometimes because it's very convenient and I feel pretty comfortable, especially yeah. in light of the fact that, you know, you have literally reached out to brands like Caraway is a good example. They make a product that is uh, coated in this way and they yeah. have, they have provided independent laboratory testing mm -hmm. that is pretty compelling. Is it yeah. not? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah. And, and Caraway is a good example because they, a, a large part of my job is haranguing companies and trying to get them to send me things and um, particularly safety data sheets, that kind of stuff. And within seconds of contacting Caraway, they were like, hey, here's all our test results. They're incredibly transparent. And the test results are actually meaningful. So they, they provided um, the California Prop 65 test results for lead and cadmium, which demonstrate that there, there just isn't lead and cadmium in their um, ceramic coating. Um, they provided significant comprehensive leach testing for um, 
for a whole bunch of metals and uh, including including lead, cadmium, mercury, um, titanium, uh, antimony, like pretty much the whole roster of things that you might worry about in, in cookware. And um, yeah, so, so when it comes to brands marketing themselves as non-toxic, um, it's, it's still a little bit kind of wishy-washy, but Caraway is definitely one of the better ones, one of the more transparent ones. Um, we, we don't seem to need to worry about things leaching out of that ceramic coating. Right. right. And, and the reason why we say that this convenience factor with nonstick leads to some uncertainty is not because there's any data that indicates that these products are toxic in any way, as we have with PTFE and the other forever chemicals. It's yeah. just that there's a, there's a known unknown which is that we? This is new technology, and this is not something that's been vetted and tested, you know, in, in the way that maybe you would want if you wanted like a thousand percent certainty. Having said that, I've been pretty impressed by the transparency of of. I mean, Caraway is an example because they sent you all these laboratory tests. Prox, Prop sixty five is crazy stringent. I mean, prop, they put in California, they put cancer warnings on you know like everything. I mean, you pick up a banana and it's got a cancer warning on it. Yeah. Um, so so that's that's good to know. I, I think. I think what I've learned is that, and in, in, in you, I want to throw you this pitch, which is what I've learned is that if you have concerns about this technology, the, the technology of convenience as it pertains to cookware, we do too, but maybe technology is not the thing to lean on that. Maybe the thing to do is just buy a cast iron skillet and cook on that. Yeah, absolutely. Like head down to your local Goodwill or whichever thrift store and find a nice banged up, uh, well, not really banged up because they're pretty pretty steady, but like a, uh, an old cast iron skillet yeah. and take it home, strip that strip that rust off, strip that seasoning, re-season, and you probably will have that for the rest of your life and we'll be able to pass it on to kids and grandkids if you have them. Um, that's certainly going to be the most sustainable, durable, non-toxic way of going. Um, the only thing I would say that is if you uh, if you struggle to lift heavy pans, cast iron is not going to be your friend. But there right. is a really good alternative, which is carbon steel. And and that's very similar, um, a lot lighter. And the only real downside to carbon steel is it's usually a bit of a higher price point. Um, and it the seasoning does tend to come off a little bit easier. So you will probably need to re-season a bit more generously with, with carbon steel. My, my issue with carbon steel is when we tried the de, the debayer. De, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Is it debayer? Yeah. Um, we tried the carbon steel pans, and they're beautiful. I mean, you hold them to hold them when they're new. They're really beautiful products. But man, they just the the, the surface gets um, discolored, and it's it's they're just really. I found them really difficult to use. I, I me personally, I, I like car, um, cast iron much better than carbon steel. But again, just throwing that out there. Yeah, for sure. Like uh, carbon steel is is kind of finicky. Um, it's if you look at chefs that use carbon steel, they reseason every single time. It's it's like yeah, they <laughs> it's it's kind of a you got to love that carbon steel. You got to and you got to show it some love. Whereas cast iron, you can kind of abuse it like you know pretty regularly, um, and and it's yeah, it's fairly foolproof. So the hierarchy to close out is at the very bottom, you have Teflon, obviously, then you have Teflon free, which is PTFE. So you want to avoid those. Yeah. Then you have the next step up, which is brands that are very conscientiously making convenient cookware that is nonstick, but is also non-toxic based on laboratory testing, which is Caraway um, is the, our favorite. Um, but it's also you, just to jump in is not, um, not, really sustainable or durable like that coat that coating is going to wear off in two three years so okay. you're going to be replacing that pen that's a good thing to to point out too so it's 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 pretty good but there are there are better yeah. options now yeah. there's a so another thing to put in here in the in this final ranking system is like for something like extrema mm -hmm. i really like the ceramic cookware quite a bit yeah, uh, it looks beautiful aesthetically. I think it's probably falls under the durable category, yeah. very durable category. Um, 
it feels earthy. It feels just feels really nice to use. However, there's a major problem with that cookware with heat distribution. It, yeah. There just is. It just it, I've tested it out, and it's like a lot of the times it's just very hard to get. It just doesn't fire up like a lot of others. Yeah, yeah. So you you got to kind of learn. Yeah, you got to learn which one you you really want to use for which purpose, and mm -hmm. be patient and um all of those things conscientious with it which for most people who are cooking like you just want to cook you know <laughs> you don't want to be faffing around um so yeah so the the thing the thing that's easiest to use and um most durable most eco-friendly most non-toxic is going to be cast iron for most people and it's also the cheapest yeah 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 for sure it's and made in the us right cheap. yeah you could yeah. get a large cast iron skillet from almost any store and it's like 20 bucks um yeah. Okay, so that's I think that's a good rundown for people that are curious. Kind of our take on you know Lee's take on um, on cookware. That was very useful. Thanks for the tips, Lee. Yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs>